done uh, away from City Hall, and so it's a sign of the importance of York University to the TTC and to Toronto that uh, the TTC has chosen this location for this uh, very important event. Um, so uh, since York is, of course, uh, the location and the host of tonight's event, uh, we thought we would begin by inviting Mr. Gary Brewer, who is the Vice President of Finance Administration here at York University, to uh, welcome us and say a few words. I'm then going to do a little bit of an introduction on some of the, uh, the ground rules, if you will, for tonight, or how we're approaching the meeting. Uh, we're then going to do, uh, give you a little bit of information, a little bit of, uh, of a presentation from uh, Andy Byford, the Chief Executive Officer of the TTC, and Chris Upfold, the Chief Customer Officer of the TTC. And really the, the idea here is that, uh, that we want this to be very much a two-way dialogue and we want to start with a, a common base of education and information. So part of that two-way dialogue is the TTC sharing a little bit with you about uh, some of the things it's doing to uh, enhance customer service and then we'll turn it over to you. It'll be your turn to offer your insights and comments. Uh, we're going to have, a, we've tried notionally to divide the agenda in two segments. We're going to first have a segment on service delivery. So kind of the, the quantity of service, if you will. Uh, we'd, lo we'd love your response. Um, we're going to be off giving people a chance to line up at the mics, or if you need a mic brought to you, we'll bring one to you. Uh, and I'll go into more detail about the process we'll use in a few minutes after the, uh, the, the remarks from the chair. And then we're going to uh, invite comments on uh, the, the environment uh, with the agency, the customer, the quality of the experience. And uh, all in about uh, uh, two hours' time, uh, we'll be wrapping up with closing remarks. But of course, the conversation doesn't end here and now. It's an ongoing conversation about how uh, the customer experience can continue to be improved uh, on the TTC. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to the chair of the Toronto Transit Commission, Councillor Karen Stitz. Thank you for coming out tonight. And a special thanks to TTC staff who have done such a great job setting up the display boards and being available to answer questions. Tonight is our second town hall meeting and launches a, a next phase in our journey towards improving customer service at the TTC. And I'm pleased to be here tonight along with Andy and Chris and they're going to talk a bit more specifically about the progress that we've made and the goals that we have. And I'm uh, looking forward to hearing from you and getting some feedback about how we're doing meeting your goals and meeting your expectations. 
And I also want to take a special moment, or take a moment rather, to acknowledge the members of the Customer Service Liaison Panel. And I'd ask you to please rise if you're able so that we can, uh, we can give a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. These, um, these fine volunteers have agreed to help work with us in the TTC to improve customer service and to give up their time and their knowledge and their expertise to help us with our journey and uh, work, help work with you to make sure that we're delivering on your expectations. So very grateful that you're here tonight. Looking very much forward to working with you. And uh, with that, let me conclude my remarks and turn it back over to Dan. Thank you very much. And so the opportunity to the, tonight is uh, to, to talk about the relationship between the Toronto Transit Commission and its customers, and that's really the theme here. How can we, uh, how can the TTC continue to improve the customer experience? And so, um, my role and the role of my colleague, who I'll introduce to, Rowan Argyle. Put up your hand there, Rowan. Uh, our, our role here, we don't work for the TTC. Uh, we're, we're neutral. We have no stake in the outcome or the advice that you give to the TTC tonight, except the stake that all Torontonians have in having first-class transit in our city. Um, and so our, our approach to tonight's event is really to, to ensure that um, we're respectful of your time, that we're inclusive and we we'll allow as many people as possible to share their ideas and their advice, and of course that we're fair to, uh, to everybody. And so the ground rules, if you will, to the extent that there are rules uh, in a classroom setting like this one, uh, first we want you to be candid. Uh, we want you to be very candid. We, we can handle the truth. We want frank and honest opinions as long as the dialogue is respectful. Um, secondly, we'd like things to be solution focused, and so we'd really love it if, as much as possible, I mean naturally we want you to be candid about issues or complaints or concerns, but where possible, if you could uh, you know, suggest solutions too, that would be immensely helpful. So in answering the question, how can the TTC continue to improve the customer experience? Um, third, of course, uh, we'd ask you to be civil, uh, you know, respectful for, those, for other participants and those who are here tonight, we're sure everybody will be. Um, uh, next, uh, just respecting time. We will be, uh, by necessity, so that we can hear from as many people as possible, we will be asking you to make your remarks in 90 seconds uh, or fewer. Uh, we'll be reasonably lenient with that, uh, but please try to respect that because we do want to get as many points of view as possible aired. Please feel free, though, to line up at the microphone again if you want a second chance or if you didn't have enough time to make your point the first time around. I will point out the microphones here. So uh, uh, Michelle here, uh, Michelle put up her hand. She's uh, helping out at the uh, microphone number one. Roger is helping out at microphone number two. So just uh, line up beside Roger when the time comes. And where's Steve? Steve is uh, the most mobile, the most helpful guy in the room because he's going to come to you. So if you want to uh, make a point and you don't feel like uh, you know hiking your way up the stairs, just put up your hand and Steve will find you. Uh, and, uh, and so we'd certainly invite you to take advantage of that. Um, and so, um, finally, or a couple of other quick points, we recognize uh, that uh, there may be some specific questions you have uh, of TTC staff, questions about specific routes, uh, you know, stuff that can be answered. Uh, if you, so from time to time, what we may be doing, since there are some staff in the room, is if you have a question about a specific issue or service, uh, you know, we may just send the staff over to help you out. So, uh, you know, just, just, just let us know and we'll try to be as helpful as possible. Finally, we recognize that not everybody likes to come into a room like this and stand at a microphone and make a big speech, and so you will have received uh, on your way in uh, comment cards, uh, and our commitment is that uh, every single comment card will be reviewed and responded to. So, uh, so.